Welcome into our player spotlight presented by Sanderson Farms. I'm Erin Summers joined by New Orleans Saints safety Tyron Matthew. Tyron, how much have you enjoyed being here playing for the Saints? To be honest, I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, you know, I've been in this league a long time. Uh, it's probably one of the best organizations, you know, I've been a part of. And um, we got a lot of good guys in our locker room too. So I think coming to work every day, you know, it's been real fun. It's not been too long so far into the season yet, but any favorite moment so far? Oh man, I'd probably say anytime you get a win in this league, uh, you know, that's, that's always something to celebrate. So, you know, hopefully we can stack one and then stack like 10 in a row going forward. Speaking of trying to get those wins, you've been in a lot of close games so far. How is the team going to break through and come out on the, the top of those games? Yeah, I think it really starts in practice, you know, just trying our best to, you know, execute the details of practice. Um, and then, you know, obviously, you know, getting our minds and our body ready to go, you know, into the uh, Sunday matchup. So, um, you know, I, I think every game we've played in, you know, we've played hard. I think it's a lot of positives, but, um, you know, you want to put it all together on Sunday so you get a win. You were able to put it all together in, in some regard on Sunday against the Vikings, getting your first interception as a Saint. How cool was that moment for you? To be honest, in a moment, it was real cool. You know, I had, you know, I was talking to Demario all that week and, you know, it had been three games and, you know, I hadn't really touched the football. And I can't remember it ever being that long, you know, that I didn't, you know, get a fumble or, you know, catch an interception. So uh, it was kind of cool to kind of speak that into existence. How much does that speak to how comfortable you are starting to get with this defense and the people around you? Yeah, I think I'm definitely getting more and more comfortable, um, you know, just with the scheme. And, and then even like a, the step, a step above the X's and O's, just trying to understand the, the, the details of it like your coach does. So uh, I, I think I'm getting there. And, you know, I think as the weeks continue to progress, like I think you can see that I'm having more and more fun with it. Seattle's coming here to the Superdome on Sunday, high powered offense. 555 yards total in their last game. How are you going to be able to contain them? Well, I think they got a lot of weapons, you know, especially on the outside, um, you know, with DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, uh, you know, even the tight end position. You know, Noah Fan is a tight end that can stretch the field. Uh, you know, I think Geno Smith is probably, you know, completing like the, the most percentage of his passes, you know, coming into this season. So, and they got a good running back system as well, too. So they're going to lean on a couple guys. Um, I just think we got to be great in our fundamentals. You know, we got to be able to challenge the receivers um, and, and then take away the explosive plays. I think if we can minimize that, you know, and then always how can we affect the football? You know, how can we get the ball back to our offense? So, you know, I think the biggest thing on my mind is not letting anybody get behind me and then just finding ways to create turnovers. You got a little taste of being in the Superdome. You're going to be back now for two straight weeks. How excited are you to be playing in front of the home crowd? I think it's going to be fun. You know, I think it's always fun, you know, to play in front of your people, your fans, um, you know, and then too, like if we can just stack one game and then stack another one in front of our fans, um, you know, who knows what that's going to do for us, you know, as far as momentum goes. So, uh, you know, you just want to take it one week at a time, but, you know, it's always cool to get in front of your fans. Thank you so much for the time, Tyron. We look forward to more picks from you this season and seeing you out there on Sunday. Thank you. Appreciate it.